Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome to you. Going to be reading in a moment for the lovely star sign of Cancer. Now then Cancer, this week I have pulled out an old book of mine. It's got to be 20 years old and it's called the Book of Answers. So at the very end of this reading this week, I'm going to ask you to think of a question you may need an answer on and we'll have a look at what comes out for you. So I'll be sure to uh, keep tuned till the end. So before I start pulling your overall energy cards out this week, the meditative poetry I had for you and the words were, shake, rattle and roll, dancing shoes upon your feet. Music is your saviour, so turn up the heat. Even if it's in your own home, just let it all hang out. You need to let out that negativity, so don't be afraid to shout. So, shout. Shout it all out this week, Cancer. Shake it all out. Shake your beauty, booty. Shake your booty out, um, even if it's in your own home. And it's to let this negative energy that I feel that's sort of been stuck in some of my Cancerians of late. But, uh, yeah, get your dancing shoes on. Some of you could literally be doing that uh, this week, going to some social event where you can actually, you know, let your hair down and enjoy yourself. But I just felt as though... Um, you needed to get this negativity out of your system and music is a saviour so turn up the music and let it all hang out this week cancer so with that done let's have a look at what story is coming out for you this week let's have a look at what energy we've got in the cards the first card coming out is the six of wands and we have the tower now the tower comes in two reasons, it could be the universe coming in to shake up things around you. We get complacent sometimes and then the universe will bring in change. It can be a negative change, what you may think as a negative, as in, oh my God, why has this happened type of scenario? But it's the way the universe works, it's the way the energies of the universe work, where it gives us a shake up. And you're not, you're not sort of understanding the fact, because with the six of wands, it's as though... You are the person sitting on the hummingbird and the hummingbird is acting as the divine and it's sort of, without you knowing it, moving you forward. Hence why change is coming in. So let's have a look at what the change is. What change have we got going on for cancer? What news is coming in for cancer spirit? Why the terror moment? It's not always negative, as I said, with the terror moment, guys. So, oh, I definitely wanted to fly out. Wow, and it's the chariot. I'm sure you had something like this last week. Maybe not you. Forgive me, but uh, the chariot comes out anyway for you. And it's saying things are progressing without you sort of understanding this. And it's going at a snail's pace. It's a slow change, a slow transit, but there is change going on around you without you knowing. So I could be picking up with some cancers who are thinking to themselves, why is everything staying the same? Why can't I seem to progress? Why aren't I manifesting this? Why is this all going wrong? Why, why, why? When really underneath the foundations, things are changing. You are being moved slowly uh, without you realising. So, let's get a few more cards out, shall we? I just feel like I want to get another one of these out for you, Cancer. What else have we got going on? And it's the King of Cups. And this is another card that sort of uh, knocks onto that energy because what it is, it's also saying you need to slow down. Hence why the snail may have come out in this to say you need to slow down because you, you're sort of going too, at, too fast a pace in the why, 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 and that's why the universe says, well, hang on a minute, we'll up your horses, we'll up your snails, <laughs> okay? Um, things are going to be changing for you, but it, it's got to be at the universe's pace and not yours. The reason being is, with the King of Cups look, if you see, she's wearing a, a crown here that's made up of an octopus. It's like you've got your finger in too many pies, you are being distracted by something yes is important but it's saying your focus has been shifted and it should be 
brought back to centre because you are missing what is going on right underneath you. And it's like to say, you are being directed. You have been on stormy waters, Cancer. You've been dealing with like really intense things. This could be to do with health reasons. This could be to do with romantic issues. Whatever that is you have been dealing with, you've been on these choppy waters, but it's saying, but look where you're going. You may have feel, felt as though you've been in a rock and a hard place. You've been staring at the small ship in your hand thinking, where do I go here? What plan have I got? You know, what am I mapping my future out to? And underneath, without you realising, while you're trying to desperately get your fingers in all the pies and trying to get all the answers, you're being navigated through anyway, naturally, by spirit. Hence why the terror moment, hence why the chariot, slowly, you're being guided through. Lovely energy, really, in disguise, she says. So, let's have a look how you are feeling deep within this week. What else have we got going on for cancer, please? Cancer, cancer, cancer. Well-being. Your well-being needs to be addressed, okay? As I said, too busy, okay? Focus is being taken off to all sorts at the moment and it's not being centred on yourself and your own inner spirit is kicking in saying, Cancer, I need some, you know, uh, rest. I need you to slow down, hence why the chariot, and take stock of you, okay? So let's have a look how the universe sees you then. How does that strengthen that card for you this week, Cancer? Hence why you need to get your dancing shoes on and start shaking it all out. Shaking it all out. Wow. And look at that beautiful card. I've just read for, was it Aquarius? No, Aries. Aries, I'm sure it was Aries. Aries or Aquarius anyway, and I had this card come out for them. You're being protected by spirit. The universe is coming in to say this to you, saying, don't worry that things aren't moving as quick as they should be. You are slowly being guided and they want to say to you, you've got to rest. I mean, how, how much more can we spell it out for you here, Cancer? Look, she's lying down there in that card, whether you can see. She's lying down there. And Spirit are telling you to do the same. Just rest up. Because things are going to manifest. You will go through this rough period. And you are being well protected by Spirit. So just let's have a look at your animal spirit cards. What else have we got for cancer? Cancer, cancer. And we have the alchemical sign of earth and it's the fox. And we have the alchemical sign of earth and it's the earthworm. This is you. I'm just going to swap those over for a second. This is definitely you. Tying yourself in knots, cancer. Hurting yourself, because I always look at that as a, being a bandage, here. Too much black and white going on and not enough colour in your world. And it's saying, take on the energy of the fox. It's an earth sign element, because it's the uh, alchemical sign of earth. Ground yourself. A fox is a survivor. It can adapt to any situation. And this is what, why this card has come out to say you are um, a survivor and you will get through this stop hurting yourself stop keeping yourself in the dark with worry when you can adapt and be get this survival instinct out of the fox okay for some of you and only a small minority if i was looking at just these two cards on a relationship you've been hurt in the past Okay, you've come out of a relationship where it really wounded you because obviously I'm looking at this. But there's this energy coming in here and it's saying, be careful. 
in a relationship sense because sly Mr. Fox or sly Mrs. Fox, okay? Mrs. Vixen, even. Um, you don't want to be hurt again by this energy. I just feel this energy is a bit sly, a bit underhanded. Um, they could be sort of saying the right things and doing the right things and, and what have you, but there's an underlying slyness about this person so I'll beware because you've been hurt too many times and I don't want you to be hurt again cancer so I'll tread carefully um you know with this new energy if it's not already coming on a relationship I feel this this suave type of energy going to be coming in you're going to think wow I've really attracted but just be mindful that it there might not be you know what I mean it's not all cut out to what it is um sly energy around them so just to be mindful okay so let's have a look at your messages from spirit this week what do they want to tell you how do they see you as well guides spirits angels what message have we got for cancer this week please sorry for the nudity in the cards it's just an oracle card it's flame of love and it says for you Allow the infinite power of love within you to radiate unconditionally in all directions, yet stand tall in your sense of self and in your own truth. The healing power of love will help you burn through all illusion and you will discover new possibilities. This is a powerful time of transformation, ideas and creativity. I work with colour, as you know, guys, uh, and we've got pink, and pink is about love. You've got to start loving yourself, though, as well. So that's why I feel like that pink's come out as a, uh, a message to you. And it's saying stand tall in your sense of self and in your own truth, okay? This is a powerful time of transformation. Things are changing. It's sort of spirit saying things are changing, so go with it. Roll with the punches. Let's just get another message out for you. What else have we got, please, for cancer this week? else have we got for cancer and it's listen you have to be willing to listen if you want to really understand someone now is not the time to be offering advice but to be a compassionate listener to listen fully and intently means to pay attention not to just what's being said but to what lies beneath the words okay so our spirits are coming out to say you've got to start listening to the signs and symbols they are sending you for one and also maybe you are misunderstood by others and it's like to say others need to understand and listen to what you want to say to them as well okay um because i feel like some of you are being misunderstood at the moment in a situation whether this be romantic or what have you and it's like you're trying Spirit are saying to you, get them to listen to you, speak out, don't bottle it in, speak out, okay? So what I'm going to do now is grab the book of answers, guys. I want you to quietly think of something you want an answer on. Um, I will stop at the page and then obviously that's just the message from Spirit. So, Cancer, think of your question. You can always pause the video, okay, if you're not, on, not sure of what you want to sort of ask at the moment. I'm just going to guide my fingers across here and stop where I think and I feel there. So the answer to your question is the best solution may not be the obvious one. Okay. And this message to me is like saying, you know, when you expect an outcome of something and you think, well, why didn't that happen? Because as I said, the universe has a different plan in mind so the best solution may not be the obvious one and it might not also be the obvious choice okay uh, for a reason so i hope that answers and gives some highlight on your question now don't forget to check out your moon and rising signs because uh, there's additional messages there that could resonate and also the book of answers will be in the reading so you could ask another question and see what comes out in that message for you as well so until next week cancer you take care of yourself bye then